down. Caution, do not drink. Duh. Duh. Usage, wow. direction, add. Can you read Mexican or whatever this is? Spanish? I can't read this crap. Let's see. It treats one bottle up to seven gallons. Well, it tells you don't drink it. That's important for the people on television or on YouTube. They don't want to drink that stuff. We don't want to drink it. Well, they can drink it. I don't care, but... <laughs> What are you putting in that gas in? It's race gas, I'm putting a race bike. Somebody used a bunch of gas up in their drag racing last time. This is stuff I drained out of some other race bike, so it must be good. It's at least, you know, eight years old, so. It still smells like race gas. It smells like C16 out of uh, the uh, single up there. Yeah, nice and blue and everything. Race gas never goes bad. I should have put this in before I went drag race to make the pump gas run better. Yeah. You know, 45, you know the parts in that frame? Yeah, the parts aren't coming out. It didn't come out the top, so it must not be full yet. No, it's not full yet. It's just right here on the, on the Something you're talking about over there. That oh yeah, that's got a lot of gas in there now. It's topped up. Okay, so what? Seven gallons per what? Didn't get a hole in it yet. <clears throat> so if we care about the bike, do we put all of it in there? Hmm. Seven gallons, huh? Make it run better. Not quite half. I'm going to show how many gallons are in there. So half the bottle is good for about three gallons. That's about right for seven, <laughs> isn't it? All right. <clears throat> now I got to mix it up. How do you mix it up, Rick? Shake it. Shake it. Put a drop on it, thank you. That's tiring. Yeah, make your muscle first. I got a better way of shaking it. Yeah. I can only imagine. Put the lid on a roll on the ground. I got to borrow this from the other way. Yeah, that looks like about the right one. Just in case. Don't want to get the carpet dirty, eh? Yeah, someone's already done that. Battery's still up. Oh, shit, it's just dark. Do you have a pump now?
think it's out of gas. I think so. All right, park for another two years. Did that shake it up enough? That shook it up enough. That shook it up pretty good? That's how you shake up your additive when you put it in your tank. So Now you can let it stay for a while because it shook up. There we go. That's how you do it. All that CRC I put on the motor is burning off now. Yeah, it does that. Yeah. Should I have to respray it now? Yeah. Yeah, screw it. It'll be good. <laughs> Only the hot parts got hot. It's all ready to go racing now. See, I tuned it up. Yeah. So all they need is a little race gas in there. That makes it run a lot better. Now it's too hot to move, but we got to move it anyway. Where are you gonna move it to? Put it back in this hole. Where's this hole? Well, there's a hole around here, it's open. Right there? That's probably the hole. Because you don't want to put it in that hole. The only problem, we got a junk pan in the way. Where's the pan in there? That's the other drag bike. That's the new drag bike. No, well, it's got a shovel head motor in it, though. No, no, it's got a fan motor in it. It's got a shovel head top end on it. might have that, but it's fan and motor. <laughs> yeah, well, I used to do that to a lot of them. See, that was not functioning right now. Somebody took the clutch out of it and the mouse trap and sold it. And oh. Took all that ugly crumb crap off of it. So it's, it's non-functional right now. Got to get rid of them ugly-ass handlebars. Got to put some real bars on it. Yeah, these suckers. I don't know why people like big hammers. Got to mount my rack on the right spot too. Yeah. It's still figuring out where the right spot is. I'm thinking that's the right spot right there. It looks good enough for me. Might have to put a couple holes in the fender. Oh, wow. Somebody scratched the paint when they put that on the bike. I don't know who did that. Yeah, probably you. Yeah. Why would I do that? Why not? Didn't care. <laughs> yeah. That's the one. I gotta change that seat out too because my butt comes off the back and I dumped a clutch at six pounds. Alright, what else we got? Got some new tires. Anybody need some new tires? They didn't make it on the bike this mm -hmm. season. I guess we have to throw them back in the inventory. Here, roll them forward, Rick. We got no room around here. What else is sitting here? That's a customer bike. You want to buy a VL? 1931. Yep. I'm going to probably wind up taking this thing apart and hopping it up and put it back together again. It's all rebuilt, so it's time to fix it. Already, huh? Yes. Nobody wanted to buy it, so screw them. I quit working on this bike in 83. It's been sitting for a couple of weeks. A couple of weeks. <laughs> I got a couple projects to work on. I don't know which one you want to work on next. Hmm. That one. These are more fun projects back here. Somebody might know what that is. Oh. Got a lot of projects. A couple of race bikes. This is what they look like when they're not racing. Somebody stole the wheel off, put on the other bike. I don't know how that happened. This one we got to do the motor swap, put the other case in. Oh yeah, okay. This is no longer a 37 ULH. It's going to be a 35 VLD. It's got a UL motor. That's a UL motor with a VL top in and a VL bike. <laughs> yeah, not all those parts work together. Then we got the big, the junk big block Chevy, and the junk big block Ford. We got the junk Model A up there. And we got the junk big block Chevy over there and the, and the junk big block Ford flathead motor next to that one. There's probably now, a Dodge you, motor floating. Oh, the Dodge motor's over there. Another compressor. Yeah, there's another compressor. Anybody need a paper cutter? Got a paper cutter. That's mm -hmm. a valuable piece. Of, that's got like a 1903 code on it, patent code on that. You need a paper cutter? No. You know, cut it to like three inch thick paper. Oh. Or two foot wide, three foot long. Whatever you want to do, it'll cut it. Yeah. Yeah. No, my days is. What about the heater? We need the heater today? No, I don't need the heater. We don't need the heater. Probably not today. It's only 90 today. We don't need the heater today. 
What am I going to do with my shaper? It's a nice shaper. It's cute. That's a cute little shaper. It is. I wonder how many people even know what a shaper is anymore. Nobody uses them anymore, honey. Well, I could use one. Look what it does. It makes a nice cut. Oh, like yeah. That. You can make stuff like that with a shaper. We got a junk pan head laying around here. Oh, well. More junk. What's under Horses here? over in. What do we got under here? Oh, white walls. That'd be a pan head. Custom bike, 65. All right. Here's another one of your race bikes. There's two of them there. They're mating. We're trying to make something new and improve. <laughs> We're not sure what that's going to be. We have to <laughs> figure it out. <laughs> it's spawning a cylinder right now. Yeah. <laughs> You ran it uh, one, not, two, sure. three, four, five, six times. What year? 2012, 2011, 2013. Those are the new stickers. The old ones and the red ones, they come off. I got piles of those red ones. And they stack up. These are new ones over here. We're running out of room. They used to be a lot smaller stickers. Yeah. Under here. That's not a bike to work on. He's going to see that and I know they're going to work on it. Hey Rick, I still got your elevator over here when you need it. No, I don't think I need That's it. That's what that is. That's an elevator. <laughs> you sure? Shoot, I can't get my stuff done in my place as it is. Another VL up there. Hey Rick, I got some tires for you. you know? What size is that? 180s and 200s. I run a 180. 18 inch. I got a few of those floating around. They're up there right now. They move around. They're here and there. All over the place. Alright, how hot's that bike? Gotta move this stuff out of the way. I gotta move three bikes to get to one bike. Pretty warm. Yeah, we're gonna do all this for up. There, I fixed that problem. We're not moving that. We need to move this out of the way. It's out of the way. It says here saddle tank for a truck. Need a gas tank for a truck? Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure. I don't need too much of anything, you much more. I'm at the end of my life. Oh, there's a bike over here. Where's your top from that? I don't know. There's some damn people lost it. Okay, we got to move. Uh, somehow we got to do a passing zone through here. Here, put this up front there. Yeah, that stuff's got to move. Well, these tires, I didn't know where you were going to put them around there. Or what? Oh, this one's empty. Those are easy to do. Tires are still here, right? Roll them over there. I know how to get rid of this stuff. See, this is how you do this. Look at that. Some Bob is gone. I got that out of the way finally after about four years. Maybe not three. We gotta put this up. Right up here. Right up there where this tank is? Move the tank. Move the tank. Boom! <laughs> you think you'll notice? He'll cry about that. Cry? Okay, nice. I'll bet you. Here, hold that up so I can move the tank. Still got gas in this tank. Oh, yeah. I know what I'm doing with this tank. I'm going to move it over the other side. Hey, we can run the Buell motor now. Yeah? Look at that. Feeding right into it. Extra race bike parts. Everybody has to have an extra fuel motor floating around. No, not everybody. Oh, not everybody needs those? Well, they might need them, but they don't have them floating around. Oh. Somebody made a mess on the floor over here one day. I remember I was walking through in the dark and my foot was catching on something, so I just kind of moved my foot a little harder. Yeah. And it moved. That's what happens. All this crap all don't of a sudden. Don't forget that nut way back there. All of this crap all of a sudden was out of my way. You think walking can come by and work on the bike again? Yeah, that's why I was wondering if the sun was going. 
Yep. You must not be carrying too much. I thought this is only transportation. Yeah, well, you don't believe everything that people tell you, do you? No. about this time. Oh, there's a missing bolt. Trying to get away. Yeah, look at all this room I got in here now. Get all this crap out of the way. You got room in here. What do I do with this junk twin cam motor? I don't know whose it is. The motor in my eyes was the junk around here. Ain't been yeah, yeah. B motor. Twin cam. Is that a twin cam? B. Yeah, soft cam motor. Someone's gonna come by looking for that one day. What'd you do to it? Oh, it's just sitting there. It's an 03. I can tell by the chrome thing on the side of the case. I know a customer had an 03 once. Maybe it's his motor. Where are you supposed to build it or what? I don't know. I figured he'd let me know at some point. Who wants some chrome crap? Rick, you want this for your car? No. This I can't good. bring no more stuff home. This will look good in the back of your car. I can't bring no more stuff home. It's, I can't walk now. Uh, I have that same problem. <laughs> yeah, well, I got it bad. I, I became a hoarder. That's where this came from. Somebody got out of the garage to give it to me. So now I got it. Let's see, this looks like shovelhead parts about late 70s. No, early 70s. Yeah, I can tell. 78, they got a kick up. So this is 77 early shovelhead. Somebody needs this for their bike. These are probably from the 60s, these ones this here. Most of this stuff has date codes on the rookie art. You still have a flashlight in this one. Ooh, that's bright. Oh, uh, these are from 75. This is modern stuff. So this must be off a of 75 or 76 shovel head. Somebody's gonna want that. How much Rick? $500? You probably get that. How about $5? That's what I sell for. There you go. I knew it was one of those two. I got those parts. I put them up online. They never had no buyers, and I, I was pricing them cheap. Nobody wanted them. Everybody was pricing them real high, and they weren't selling them. I put mine up, and I put it real cheap, and I didn't sell them that real cheap. You didn't sell it either. So the people that had them real high, they, I don't know what they were open for. See how you lift a heavy bike? You leverage on your knees. Okay, those tanks are full. Somebody must have been racing this recently. Oh, I still have a belt drive in it. Just no clutch. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like the brakes are on. I wonder it doesn't go very fast. Okay, which bike's more valuable, Rick? The Harley or the shitty Harley? <laughs> the what? The Harley or the shitty Harley? The flathead. Uh, more, I mean, the... Uh, the military bikes were valuable. Okay, so make sure we don't hit that one. You didn't think I could do that, did you? You didn't think there was room to do that. Looks like there is. Need some help now. It's heavier. Maybe it's just a wheelie post in sideways. Don't touch the little saddle bag before you. I know, I'll make that right here. Look out. You're going somewhere, so make it perfect. These bikes are lighter.
This is a repo frame. Oh, oh that's Smitty's frame. Is a frame over there? Yeah, there's a knucklehead frame right here. Knucklehead frame? You got knucklehead parts in this building? Yeah. You sure? I'm positive. You're stuck on that. Hang on. Some people thought that was a lot of room in this building. We do an exhaust pipe. Right there. That's my new high flow exhaust pipe for my bike. How's it look? It needs to be a little longer. Bendable. You, you have up sweeps. Oh yeah. Gotcha. You make a loop and go back down. <laughs> Start a new fad. All right, where's my bike cover? I don't know. Could use it on If mildew died yet. No, nope, still here. A little mildew. Yeah. We'll cover it up. Protect the mildew. We're using a Guardian. Weather all. Whatever. Force plus, right? That right there is confuse everybody. This one's big enough, Rick? Yeah. Where's the front? You never can tell the front from the back on these things. The label's on the back. Got a wall holding the front, right? Yeah. That looks like a rear. There's the mirror right there, isn't there? Yeah, that's easy to the front area is. This thing looks pretty short. I thought this was like a double triple X. Oh, it's got things to hit my bike. That'll piss me off if it does that. What the hell is this crap for? See, I could damage my bike. Can't have that shit happening. Yeah, get rid of that problem. If there's one, there's got to be two of those stupid things. Yeah, there's the other one. We had a design flaw there. <clears throat> it's one of those guys that put it over your bike and never see it for six Here's your hood scoop when you're going down the road. Exhaust pipe. Yeah. 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 Yeah
that's why I tried to trip me. Boy, it all wound up and the farmer gave that motor away. He had his eyes on that motor. What, the one I just got down section for you? No. The, that Ford motor that was in the back of Barber's place. Oh. He went over there when the day to pick up my stuff. How'd I get over there? Well, that way's blocked too. And so anyhow, he knows that motor was gone. He had about had a conniption fit. Uh -oh. Barbara gave it to him one time, and I told him, if she gives you something, you better take it when she gives it to you. Because if you know, you go back, think you're gonna get it later, like you always does. made for big bikes. These things are not made for big bikes. No, I don't give away motors. Yeah, these covers are underrated for sizing. It wouldn't fit my bike. It didn't fit my bike either. you think it would. How much is left in the back over there? It's pretty wrapped around and hitting the tire. I think it would be able to fit over top of the damn bearing, you know? Stupid ass cover. Whatever size that cover was, it ain't made for a Harley. Oh well. It's semi covered. How long before it puts a hole through that, you think? Won't be long. I haven't had much luck with those covers. Yeah, these things are way, way undersized. It's made for big touring pounds, but no fairing. I'm a bike still uncovered. Go. Buy a quad X one if you want to cover your 45 next time. The triples aren't big enough. These things are supposed to be made for Harleys, you know. Yeah, I don't think they are. Pretty bad you can't even fit over a 40s bike. Good thing I didn't put on Dad's bike. His bike's bigger and taller than mine. Oh, yeah. Oh, this side is probably... Ever since they took my stomach out, water got a aftertaste to it. Yeah, well, that happens. Uh, you can watch me crawl out of here too. Never been aftertaste. <laughs> Don't step on your Harley, it hurts them. All right. Too much car shit again. Yeah, you got three boxes, four boxes, five boxes, six boxes from Speedway. Yeah, that goes there. Yeah, they're heavy too. Need some tires? Yeah, you need some tires. We get all kinds of tires. All weird sizes and styles. Now we're getting back to the good stuff now. There's the genuine Harley tires from the 70s. Got the brand new tire for the 30s and 40s. That's original. That's hard. That's what's called plastic now. Mm -hmm. That's genuine brand new Harley. That's genuine, yeah. That's a real McCoy there. That's an expensive tire. Yeah, put that in the front there so you don't scratch it. I don't care about the Avon. That's a good one there. I'm going to build a bike and put that on one of these days. You should. I'm going to finish my five bikes too. Five? Six. 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 six around here. I'm all done so when I die somebody can sell them. How many right there in that pile right there? How many is on that pallet? 
the reach. Uh, kind of. It works out work. A couple frames. How about my pit vehicle, my uh, lawnmower? Yeah. I'm almost done with that too. Yeah. I started working on that about 93. And your welding rod oven is... Well, I gotta have that. Yeah. It would get cold in here. Right. Cold. Walker wants me to sell my gas tank. I didn't think I wanted to do that though. This boat. This had two black wheels in it one time. I'm thinking it's time to throw this one away. What do you think? Yeah. This one can go in the trash? I don't know. You might need it. Those wheels are right up there in the hot rod, the slick on them. They're being used. Alright, what else do we got to move? That, that fuel tank is in the way again. You know how this thing keeps popping? I've got two of these someplace. One for left tank, and one for right tank. Let me get all, I'm right on that Ford when I throw it out there. Okay, Rick, you ready to work on this one? Is that Fred's? No, this is Mike. Mike Olson. Doing the motor? Motor chain, up front. I'm waiting for you to finish them up for me. Yeah, right. That ain't gonna happen, you know that. It's not gonna happen? You ain't gonna let nobody else do the motor. Yeah, you're probably right. Alright, look out. Stole the gas cap off. Okay, you got to move. Your stomach was in the way of the handlebar. Something had to go. That's alright. I'm thinking this could go right here. What do you think? Looks good enough. Look at that. See, perfect fitment. Brake tears the drag. So when that brake works. Nice yellow motorcycle. <laughs> Drum brake works great. Oh yeah. Just to walk up from city. Now you gotta make sure you protect the sheet metal in the vehicle before you throw them up. Otherwise people will scrape them on you. See, I like these guys, they got a spot to cover the front ends and back ends. I like that other cover, this one can cover the motorcycle. So do you want to work on a 65 or a 58? Me? What I'd rather work on? Yeah. Well, a 65 is easier to work on. In some fast points. 58 behind you over there. Right there. Well, there's another one of these floating around. Oh. This one's covered up my crap. It's more important over here. You have to protect the vehicle. Oh, I found another cover. Another better. Another layer of protection. Let me drop something on that thing. Look at that. People. Ruin my paint. Back up. Coming out. Oh, I found 
behind that cover, it's right next to that door there. This is going to be fun getting this out of here. Take a fit. Whoa, that stuff has to move. <laughs>